Oh, good day, everyone. So it's uh, Friday afternoon, and one of my favourite things to do on a Friday Arvo is head up to the shed and have a cold beer. So that's where I'm going. But uh, as we head to the beer fridge, what I also like to have is a few uh, beer snacks. And uh, I'm about to show you. Just bear with me as I reach in to get a beer. There's a beer. I'm about to show you how to make the best beer snake going. Come with me. Here are all the fixings for pickled squid. So, what have I got? Squid. I've just pulled some squid out of the freezer. Dry chilli. A couple of sprigs of rosemary. An onion. That's a leaf out of my orange tree. And black pepper. Um, and as I'm standing here, I've realised I've forgotten the main ingredient, which is white vinegar. Stay tuned. There, that's more like it. White vinegar. Anyway, I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to make a batch of uh, pickled squid. First things first, get your squid. And just cut it up into whatever shapes you prefer. Um, I happen to have tubes here, so I'm just going to cut pretty generous rings there you go pup want some too Rose? there you go so you just cut them into pretty generous rings there that's about the perfect size right there okay next step you get your squid and you take it to the water this is the water that I just boiled the jar in to sterilize it there's no need to get it boiling again, you just chuck your squid in and blanch them for oh, not long at all, 15-20 seconds. You just want to get them started. You're not trying to cook them, you're just getting them started. Because the, uh, the vinegar, when you put it in the jar, the vinegar will actually finish the cooking. So that'll do there. Just let the squid uh, let the squid drain. You want to get it completely dry, or as dry as possible, before you put it in the jar with the vinegar. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to pour a beer. <laughs> so you know your beer fridge is cold. <laughs> She's frozen on the top. Nectar of the gods. Cheers all. Right on. Let's start putting it all together. So you get your jar. First thing you want to do, open up, slice up an onion pretty roughly. Doesn't need to be pretty. All, right, all I'm going to do is just cut chunks like so and it goes it now squid yep that's dry enough get some squid in there a few black peppercorns now's a good time to chuck your leaf in get your orange leaf in there a bit more onion make sure you don't uh, don't forget to put the rest of your squid in, so don't overdo the onion. Although the onion is pretty tasty. Rest of the squid goes in. Here pups, another piece each. There you go. Good girls. Right. Rosemary. Dried chilli. Oh, I've only got two chilies left. That's last year's crop. Get that in there. A few more peppercorns on top. So I'm going to get a bit more onion in there. Yep. A little bit more. And finally, top the whole lot with vinegar. Put 
All right, give it a bit of a shake. You want to get as much air bubbles out as you can. You don't want air bubbles stuck in there. There's a big one there. You've got to get rid of that. There we go. Fill it right up to the top. And whack your lid on. There you go. One jar of pickled squid. That goes in the beer fridge for about a week. Um, it's You could probably get stuck into it after 24 hours, but best results are for about a week. Yeah, so there we go. One jar of pickled squid ready to go in the beer fridge. But uh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Andy, what about tonight's beer snacks? Well, here's a jar I prepared last week. So let's crack that open, put it on a plate, have a bit of a look at it. I was just thinking there's not quite enough there, but uh, fortunately I made two jars last week. So there's plenty more there. I'm going to load up that plate a little bit more, I think. All right, that's a bit more like it. Friday afternoon beer snacks. So, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Tight lines. See you next time.